dear Bengalurians, people from all walks of life, great joy to meet you. How are you? How is your mindset today? Communication is your success and your success is your communication. Never forget, never ever forget. Communication is your success. Today, we are going to learn a new grammar pattern for your success. For your success. For your success. Anyone can achieve success. But are you ready for a change? Are you willing to transform your life and your lifestyle from lifestyle to better lifestyle? Educating, entertaining, and empowering. Dear viewers, please do listen. Today the topic is had been. Today the topic is had been. Today the topic is had been. Do you know why I have been repeating again and again and again? Secret number one, repeat again and again. Secret number two, repeat again and again. Secret number three, repeat again and again. Your communication is repetition. Repetition. All right, now listen. Today the topic is had been. So repetition again and again and again, 100 times, 200 times, 300 times with great interest, with great energy. If you can repeat, anyone and will can speak definitely. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So today, had and one more word is been. In your fluent speech, you can also say the short form, been. Been or been. Either way. Had been, had been. Both are correct. Repeat along with me. Had been, had been, had been, had been, had been. Excellent. Now, had been, had been, had been, had been, had been. Great joy. Had been, had been, had been, had been, had been, had been, had been. All right. Now, what I have to learn from this, after had been, what I have to add, what I have to attach, which verb form, which verb form, which verb form. Listen, any verb if you choose, it will have three major divisions, three forms. Let's see, for example, clean, Cleaned, cleaned. One more time. Clean, cleaned, cleaned. Excellent. Wash, washed, washed. Now listen here. W A S H E D is not washed. No ta sound. You have to give ta, ta, ta sound. Because there is a rule that we'll learn later. Now don't give da. There is a great difference. Da 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 sound vibration. Ta 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 ta. Airflow. So now for the second word, wash, and the second form, you have to give ta sound. Washed. Again, ta. Washed. One more time. Washed. Together, everybody, for one final time. Washed, washed, washed. Excellent. But look at the first word. The second form. C-L-E-A-N-E-D. Here you have to give the sound. Cleaned. Cleaned. Now you may have a question. Why? Don't worry. We will be learning very shortly. The third verb, break, broke, broken. Again, break, broke, broken. Thank you so much for repeating. Now, after had been, when I speak or when I write, listen here, when I speak or when I write, after had been, there are two 
agreements for the verb one it can be ing or it can be third form what is ing form singing writing talking sleeping fighting eating after had been we can use ing form that's it shall we practice all right had been going had been coming had been eating had been writing had been talking had been morning oh god morning is not a verb morning ends in ing but it is not a verb i'm talking about verb any ing form going coming eating jumping reading fighting talking moving saying watching oh great joy all right now after had been please do understand that we can use ing form secondly we can use third form what is third form clean cleaned cleaned see there v3 the third form wash washed washed which is the third form washed excellent break broke broken which is the third form broken great joy good job so after had been we can use ing or third form now the question is when i have to use ing and when i have to use third form very simple very simple very very simple subject doing action if the subject is doing an action ing form if a subject does an action ing form now how do i know whether the subject is doing an action or not check the subject anitha one more time anitha once more anitha now listen here anitha can walk can talk can cook very simple anitha can do action so here anitha had been cleaning 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 why because anitha can do action second sentence saroja had been washing why i have selected ing very simple subject can do action check the subject subject can do an action saroja had been washing let's move on to the third example meena meena can walk meena can talk meena can do action so i have to choose ing form meena had been breaking have you understood arthaita thank you that side subject not doing action there please do remember dear viewers dear bengalurians people from all walks of life there are two agreements for had been for the verb form number one it can be ing subject doing action number two it can be third form subject not doing action very simple room here room cannot do any action room cannot walk room cannot talk room can do anything if the subject is not doing an action if a subject does not do an action 100% third form room had been cleaning oh oh very wrong why because this room cannot clean that room room cannot do any action room had been cleaned look at the second example clothes clothes had been washing oh god 
A cloth cannot wash the cloth. Check the subject. Clothes had been washed. Why I have chosen the third form? Because subject is not doing any action. Let's move on to the third example. Table. Table. It's not table. It is A. You need to give A sound. Table had been breaking. Oh, very funny. Wrong, wrong. Very wrong. Table cannot break a table because table cannot do any action. Dear viewers, very simple. Doing action, ing form. Not doing action, third form. Very simple. Listen again. Lend me your ears, please. Doing action, ing form. Not doing action, third form. Table cannot do any action. That's why we have to select, we have to choose and use third form. Table had been broken. Have you understood? All right, thank you so much. So after had been, we can use ing form or third form. If the subject is doing an action, ing form, if the subject is not doing an action, third form, very simple. Always do remember verbs are very, very important. Every day you have to read, learn verbs. Very important. You have to remember three forms. Speak, spoke, spoken, eat, ate, eaten, drink, drank, drunk, see, saw, seen, talk, talked, talked, meet, met, met. Any language, verb plays the most important role. And we have learnt already was. Then we learnt has been. And today we have learnt had been. Now you know the grammar rule. Had been. Immediately you can remember, oh, it can be ing form or third form. But now my question, I have a question for you. When I have to use, where I have to use this sentence and where I have to use this sentence. Let me repeat again. Where I have to apply application ing form where I have to or when I have to apply third form, application, very, very important. Apart from that, had been also, we use alone. Now you may have a question. ING form, yes, I have understood. Subject doing action, ING form. Third form, yes, yes. Very clearly I have understood. Subject not doing action, third form. But how about alone? What is this? Don't worry, keep watching our program every day. And also you have to be ready for a change in your life. If you want to change your lifestyle, if you are interested to change your lifestyle, from lifestyle to better lifestyle, one thing, one condition, are you ready for the change? If you want success, you have to change. If you want to achieve, you need to change. Your mindset, you have to reset. Again, you have to set your mindset because very, very important. Very, very important. You have to be ready for a change. A great transformation will happen in your life. A great change will happen in your life. Anyone can achieve success. Anyone can reach your goal. To reach your desired goal, 
One thing is very important, change, change, change. Just check whether your mind is ready for success. Just check, are you ready for success? Just check, is your communication How is your communication? Is it okay? Or you need to fine tune? Or you have to improve? Check your communication. Because mindset and communication, mind and tongue, mind is equal to your thoughts. Tongue is equal to your communication. Mind and tongue, if you can switch off and switch on properly, success is definite. Success is definite. You can doubt your doubt, but do not doubt your success. Sometimes we doubt. We doubt our dreams, we doubt our plans, we doubt our success. Listen carefully. Doubt your doubt. Do not doubt your aim. Do not doubt your goal. Do not doubt your success. Anyone can achieve success, but need a change. Need a great change. All right, dear viewers, thank you. Thank you so much for watching our program. Let me recap today's session. Had been, had been, had been. First secret, first technique, first trick, repetition. Any grammar pattern if you see, immediately repeat. Whether you know or you don't know. Whether you know the rule or not. First step, repeat. Because your English starts from your lips. Your English starts from your lips. You need to open your lips and you have to repeat. Are you ready? Are you ready for the repetition? Be interested. You have to repeat with energy, with interest. All right. Thank you. Had been, 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 had been. Had been. Thank you. Little faster, little quicker. Had been, 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 had been. Again, had been, 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 had been. Once more, had been, 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 had been. Thank you. Now, after had been, what are the possibility? I told you, I taught you. After had been, the first agreement is ing form immediately instantly right now you have to learn and right now you have to apply repeat today you have learned after had been i can use ing what is ing going what is ing coming what is ing thinking what is ing using any ing form so now had been going had been coming had been eating had been jumping, had been reading, had been talking, had been playing, had been moving, had been drinking. Try more than 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 examples with different verbs. Had been joking, had been writing, had been sending. Excellent. Then secondly, we have learned a rule after had been. We can use third form. Had been cleaned. Had been washed. Had been broken. And I told you why third form, why ing. Very simple, listen here. Why ing and why third form? Subject doing action. Anita, she is doing action. Saroja, she is doing action. Meena, she is doing action. Subject doing action, ing form. But, room, oh, not doing action. Clothes, 
not doing action. Table, cannot do any action. Doing action, ing form. Not doing action, third form. One final time together, we are going to repeat. Are you all ready? Excellent, thank you. Anita had been cleaning. Little faster. Anita had been cleaning. Saroja had been washing. Saroja had been washing. Mina had been breaking. Mina had been breaking. Excellent. Room had been cleaned. Room had been cleaned. Clothes had been washed. Clothes had been washed. Table had been broken. Table had been broken. Aha! Eh hey! Oh ho! Success! Today we have learned had been. Do not miss our program. Please do watch continuously. Always do remember you are successful. You can achieve. Anyone can speak, communicate fluently. In one of my seminars, I said to all my participants, even if you do not know A, B, C, D, I will make you to speak. Listen, listen, listen here. In one of my seminars, to all my participants, I said, even if you don't know, if you do not know, dear friends, I can make you to speak. Suddenly, two members stood up and they asked, Hello, Reed, sir. If I don't know A, B, C, D, how can you make me to speak? Even if you teach, how can I take notes? If I do not know to write, if I don't know even A, B, C, D, how can you make me to speak? Please explain. I said, dear friend, I no need to explain, but before explaining, I'll give you one example. That example will explain everybody. Then he said, please tell me, sir. Then I told, there is a language called Tulu. And I know very well all Bengalurians you know there is a language Tulu and many they speak Tulu. Tulu has no written form. There is no A, B, C, D for the language Tulu. There is no written form. Without the written form, how are they speaking? It's really amazing, really wondering. So I asked him, Dear friend, for the language, the language Tulu has no letters, no A, B, C, D. But how are they speaking? In the same way I can train anybody and everybody, even if you do not know A, B, C, D, I can make you to speak. Because for speaking, no need A, B, C, D. Just listening. Repeating, speaking. Energy, listening, repeating, speaking. Interest, listening, repeating, speaking. Positive mindset, listening, repeating, speaking. Changing your mindset to remember grammar patterns. Listening, repeating, speaking. That's it, that's it, that's it. Then he gave a big smile. Oh, fantastic. Yes, the language Tulu has no ABCD, but they are speaking. Amazing, amazing, he said. So, dear viewers, do not worry. Even if you don't know ABCD, you can speak. Because it is a language. It's a language. Just you have to observe had been, repeat had been, had been going, had been coming, had been eating. 100 times, 200 times then automatically you will become a great expert, a fluent speaker. Thank you very much for watching my program, our program. Thank you so much. Great joy.
Take care. Bye bye. My name is Aishwarya. I am studying in Sudarshan Vidya Mandir. I live in Bangalore. I have enrolled for voice and accent training in Reeds International Centre. Training method is very interesting and very different. It is very useful for my communication. That is how I came to know about uh, the, his talent. Three or four years back, I saw an advertisement in Tamil Nadu hotel. So wherever there is an English program, I used to cancel all other engagements and go and attend there. Out of my own interest and the interest of our students also. Whether it will be of some use to our college and students. So that first uh, Tamil Nadu hotel went on for two or three hours. He gave a wonderful seminar. I was very much impressed. He has been teaching English, spoken English for a very long time. He has developed his own techniques by practice. He, he breathes English, he talks, walks, everything. His identification with his foreign language and his total. You can very well call him an Indian Englishman and above all a very fine gentleman, a friend. So that impressed me the very first occasion. I decided to invite him to our college. He readily responded. He came in the same hall in which about 100 students attended. Then I got a, a wonderful feedback also. How was the program and other? I asked them, asked them to write about the program. I got the feedback with me. All the students gave a wonderful feedback. The program was very interesting and very useful. They wanted more and more. ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ರಿಟ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ನವರ ತರಬೇತಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸರಾಗವಾಗಿ ಮಾತಾಡೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡಬೇಕು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಶೈಲಿ ಭಾಷೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತಾಡೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮಾತಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬಾಡಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಹೇಗಿರಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ನೋಡಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ತಡ ಈ ತಕ್ಷಣ ರಿಟ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರನ್ನ ನೋಂದಾಯಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರಿಗೆ ತರಬೇತಿ ಕೊಡಿಸಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಂಪನಿ ಮಾಲ್ಗಳ ಉದ್ಯೋಗಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಅವರ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಹಾಗೂ ಮಾತಿನ ಚತುರತೆಯನ್ನ ಉತ್ತಮಗೊಳಿಸಲು ತರಬೇತಿ ಕೊಡಿಸಿ ನೀವು ನೋಂದಾಯಿಸಿಕೊಂಡಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಥಳಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದು ತರಬೇತಿ ನೀಡಲಾಗುವುದು ವೈಯಕ್ತಿಕವಾಗಿ ತರಬೇತಿ ಪಡೆಯಬೇಕಾದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೆಂಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರು ನೋಂದಾಯಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ತರಬೇತಿ ಪಡೆಯಬಹುದು ಈ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನೋಂದಾಯಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಉತ್ತಮ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಉಜ್ವಲ ಭ